Hello and welcome to Sweet Carolina. I'm your host, Kyle Clyde. And I'm Abby Edwards. Today we have a special treat for you. With the semester hitting the halfway mark, many of you are becoming tired of your everyday routines. That's why we want to show you some new and possibly unheard of places you can stop by and grab a bite to eat before heading off to your next midterm. But first we're going to take a quick look at the top news tweets of the week. The government shutdown is finally coming to an end. A temporary bill was passed through both the Senate and the House. This bill raised the debt ceiling, enabling the government to reopen. Federal workers returned to work this morning. The current spending levels are authorized through January the 15th. This will give the government some time of relaxation before discussions begin again to decide on a permanent budget plan. Students, on the other hand, aren't getting a moment to relax. Midterms are quickly approaching, and sometimes you just need a bit of a change in scenery to help escape the stress. Fall for Greenville gave some of our WBJU staff members an opportunity to explore restaurants in Greenville. One of these places might just be the change you need in your busy schedule. Our staff members purchased food tickets at the Fall for Greenville Festival last week. These tickets allowed them to try food from all over the downtown area. Here are three of the highlights that they found. City Range is a restaurant with great food variety, and if you go there, make sure to check out the incredible crab cakes. Sobeys, on the other hand, is a southern cuisine. They may take some of your old favorites and add a new twist. And then lastly, stop by Murasaki's. This place has great sushi, and it's going to give you something a little bit different. One of my favorite places downtown, it's called Ocha Tea Bar. Uh, it's, it's strictly just the tea, but it's got the milk tea, the bubble tea, um, and a lot of different flavors. It's really, really good, and right. a great culture atmosphere there. Yeah. Um, some of my favorite places downtown are not even the high up restaurants, but it's the places that um, have a unique culture, but not many people know about them. My favorite is a Jamaican restaurant that just a little hole in the wall place, but great food, very authentic. Yeah, have you so. uh, checked out Mellow Mushroom before? Oh yeah, great pizza. That place is amazing. And I a love, fun atmosphere it for sure. It's a really fun atmosphere. I really like that a lot. Yeah, lots of cool places to try down there. Well, maybe you don't have time to go downtown, but BJU offers many different venues right here for great food. One place that is just open for the semester is called The Bistro. This is a restaurant put on by the culinary arts students every Friday. Kyle tried it out last week. It's that time for the culinary arts students to put their skills to the test. The Bistro at Culinary Arts is back for another semester of food service. The culinary arts students get a chance to cook and serve their food in a sit-down style restaurant. These students spend all week preparing in their labs. Then on Friday, the students come to the kitchen at 11 a.m. and begin the cooking. Not only do the culinary students cook the food, but they also serve and wait on tables. Guests can choose from a full menu of appetizers, entrees, and desserts. Menu items are prepared fresh and ready to eat. And if that isn't enough... It's also helping support their peers. So this is culinary arts students in their class. So just like you would go to you know, a recital to hear a friend, yeah, coming to Bistro is helping out a friend as well. Chef so. Hansen and his students will be running the Bistro on campus every Friday until November 22nd. It opens at 11.45 a.m. and is located just across the street from the BJU Press by the Applied Studies Building. And if you're looking for that off-campus experience without having to leave school, come check out the Bistro at Culinary Arts. For Sweet Carolina, I'm Kyle Klein. Thanks so much for watching Sweet Carolina, and be sure to check us out on Facebook and to follow us on Twitter. For WBJU, I'm Kyle Klein. And I'm Abby Edwards, signing off till next week.